Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Matthew McShane. I'm the uh, director for uh, Immune, which was written by Leo Fogg. Uh, just wanted to have a quick shout out to my uh, friends and family watching, as well as my uh, cast, who all worked super hard, are all super talented, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the show. Hey, uh, thanks for agreeing to this meeting. Yeah, of course. Is something wrong? No, everything's good. Why? I don't know. You just had a weird look on your face. Well, my service is spotty. What did you want to talk about? Nothing in particular. I just wanted to, you know, check in, see how things have progressed. Um, they're fine, I guess. Nothing too dramatic has happened since you moved out. Really? So no screaming fights? No ill-advised political discussions or rants about aliens? Um, well, with regards to the presence of aliens, that is not a, exactly a rant, strictly speaking. But no, not really. Honestly, I think things have been better. <coughs> <coughs> So you think it's a good thing that I left? I didn't say that. It's just your tone implied it. I was wondering if I could leave some of your stuff outside of the house for you to pick up. I didn't leave anything. <laughs> what? I, what did I leave? The extra queen mattress in the backyard, the trash bags in the shed, all the stuff in your closet you were supposed to clear out. I said you guys <laughs> could have that stuff. I know. But you don't want it. No, it's fine. <laughs> I guess I'll just build a fort or something. You don't miss having me around at all? How's the free world? It's fine. Nice to have community again. Good. I was worried about you. I think you should get that cough checked out. It's just allergies. I wish I could see you in person, I mean. But you aren't allowed to leave the house. Um, that's just something I have to deal with. What was that? No, nothing. Nothing important. Is that Rose? No, she doesn't. That's Rose's girlfriend. She has her girlfriend over? Her girlfriend moved in last week. I thought the whole point of the protocol was... <coughs> I thought the point was no outsiders. Lauren isn't an outsider. She's a believer. A believer. How was your interview? I didn't get the job. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we not? Well, is it that much of a surprise at this point, really? I mean, most people are trying to move away from doing everything on Zoom. Most people are fucking stupid. <laughs> <coughs> Jamie. No, I'm serious. I don't want you treating me like I'm some kind of sick. <sighs> That was her again, wasn't it? They're probably just fucking. Well, there's no need to be gross. Well, there's no need to be gross. I didn't say it like that. You're so weird about sex. I am not. No, no, not like it's a bad thing. It's just, I remember when we were together, you used to avoid the subject. Well, I think it's a perfectly normal thing to not want to discuss. Even when you're literally having sex with someone? Okay, you're trying to distract me. I actually had something that I wanted to ask you before this became an attack on me again. <coughs> I thought you said this call was just about checking in. It is. But also, 
you know. What? I, I want you to come live with me. I want us to try again. You know I can't do that, Mal. No contact with the outside world. That's been the pack since the very beginning. Just, I, I'm really, I'm really worried about you. I just think you need a change of environment. A chance to see that maybe the outside world isn't as scary as we had convinced ourselves. The outside world has become an unrecognizable and hostile place. No, it hasn't. You can choose to change your circumstances whenever you want, Jamie. Jesus Christ. Maybe you can. We've reached herd immunity, you know. There's no such thing as herd immunity when the government won't even tell us what they're trying to make us immune from. I... What? What do you mean what they're trying to make us immune from? They've told us. Coronavirus. Yes, but is that really it? Is that all? Look, I don't want to have this discussion again. There are aliens on Earth, Mal. Huge fleets of them. They're in our schools, our hospitals. Hell, they're in our goddamn backyards. You can't tell me that the pandemic wasn't just a sad attempt to keep us in the dark about the fact that the government is facilitating alien assimilation on a massive scale. And don't get me started on what they're putting in these so-called vaccines. Microchips are just the beginning. Amy, I moved out two months ago. Unlike you, I actually got the vaccine. So I'm able to have a job again and go in public, even go on some dates. Which, by the way, I met someone whom I'd love to introduce you to if you ever decide to rejoin society and stop acting like some cartoon villain. I'm not getting vaccinated. My point being, I haven't seen a single alien. And as far as I can tell, there's no microchip that's transmitting my thoughts to some secret government agency. And even if there is, I can't even bring myself to care very much. I can't believe you just resigned yourself to being a sheep. Better than being a hermit. What is your plan anyway? Stay inside living off social security and the dregs of your parents' money for the rest of your miserable life? No, Lauren has a plan. She and Rose are experimenting with ways to make themselves immune to disease and contamination. <laughs> what are they doing? Licking the black mold off the tile in the downstairs bathroom? No. They're, um, they're actually altering their DNA. What? To be more like the aliens. Wait, what do you mean they're altering their DNA? It's actually really, really cool. Stuff you would totally be interested in. What, what the fuck is that? I'll be right back, okay? Everything's fine. They're just fighting about something. You seem really upset. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. It's just close quarters, high stress environment. Jamie, what the fuck is going on there? I told you, Lauren is great. She and Rose are really close to making a breakthrough, I think. <laughs> well, how do you know Lauren's not an alien? Don't joke about that. No offense to you, but we might be some of the last free people on Earth. These aliens are very, very adept at mind control. They've been using 5G towers all over the country to transmit COVID-19 into people's brains. What? Uh, okay. R remember earlier when you were asking me about the free world? Yes. I find it ironic that you think you're free when you've confined yourself to this insane, paranoid existence. My life has gone back to normal, Jamie. I am free of all this shit. Whereas your life just keeps going further and further down a conspiracy theory rabbit hole. I miss who you were before. Maybe you're right. What? I've lost track of who I am. I miss you. I miss our group of friends. I miss the way we used to be before we started fighting about the pandemic all the time. The things that Lauren's doing, 
It's actually kind of scaring me a bit. Wait a minute. What exactly is Lauren doing? <sighs> Remember how I said she's working on altering human DNA to resist the virus and alien infestations? By making herself more like an alien? Well, um, it involves injecting chemicals into the bloodstream. What chemicals? Ever heard of Miracle Mineral Solution? No, what is that? It started out as an alt-right cure for autism. Well, I can- No, wait, I mean... trust me. It's basically an industrial strength bleach that kills all the bad cells in your body. I don't really understand all the details, but Lauren is really into it. She's been using it on herself for years and she's totally immune to every type of disease. She says she even willingly exposed herself to COVID-19 before she got here and nothing, not even a single symptom. I, I, I don't even know what to say, Jamie. This is the craziest fucking thing I've heard in my entire life. You're telling me you're, you're willingly poisoning yourself. It's not poison. It's called miracle solution for a reason. The only thing is that, well, people usually have some pretty bad side effects. Chemical burns, liver failure, that kind of thing. Lauren had to put herself through a lot to get to where she is now, but now that she has- Okay, okay, okay. So you've been injected with this fucking poison. Miracle mineral solution? And now you're immune to every disease on the planet, including <laughs> alien possession or whatever. <coughs> Why can't you leave your apartment? Why are you still coughing every five seconds? <laughs> I'm not totally immune. It's still making me pretty sick and I haven't even had the full dose yet. Wait, what? I haven't been injected with anything yet. I've just been drinking it. Oh. Bleach tea. Hey, I'm actually on a Zoom call right now. Can we hang on a bit? Time for your dose. Jamie, no. Now, the mixture I've created is time sensitive. We only have a few more minutes till it's not viable anymore. I'll be right back, okay? It's not a big deal. Please don't do this to yourself. I don't want you to die. I can't believe how easy that was. They didn't even scream. I know. I mean, I knew they were pretty susceptible to the reverse psychology stuff, but... Using the ex's body was a genius touch. Really professional level stuff. I think it was fun to drag it out like this, you know? Especially since we don't get to do it anymore. I know. Was it weird? I'm a little sad. The invasion is almost complete. Aw. <laughs> You're gonna miss your human girlfriend? Maybe a little. <laughs> Mostly. I'm just excited to go home and change out of this body. Ugh. Bleach. <laughs> 